I got three of these wedding arrow signs from Dollar Tree. And the little stands were actually really easy just to pop right off. I then just laid them down right next to each other, just leaving a little bit of a gap in between. Then grabbed two of these one gallon paint stir sticks, measured them to the width of the arrow signs, and then just used my box cutter just to kind of cut those right up and then just bent it. And then that piece that you cut off will just pop right off. Then using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue I began just gluing those paint sticks to the top and the bottom of these arrow signs then once that's all put together using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster I just began painting this piece right up this did end up taking about three coats you want to just dry each of the coats prior to going on to the next one and then just allow that to dry. Once dry, using some Waverly Antique Wax, I just began dry brushing this all throughout this piece of decor. Just put a very small amount on your paintbrush and then just lightly go around the edges and just all throughout the piece. And this leaves you with this cute weathered look. I then got this metal bike decor, also came from Dollar Tree. I just took it apart using my tool. Now you could leave this as is. I wanted to change the color of the bike. So using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge and some Waverly chalk paints in the color ink, I just began carefully dabbing that paint all throughout the bike, but making sure that I am leaving those flowers alone. And I just did the same thing to that welcome sign just dabbed on that ink chalk paint. Allow everything to completely dry. I then just hot glued some jute string to the back of the welcome sign because I kind of wanted it just to hang over this little fence decor. Then found a good placement for the bike and just hot glued that right down as well. And look at how cute this is coming out. I then just grabbed some fake flowers from Dollar Tree, keeping it kind of like a spring color. So just using some light blues, yellows, and some pink roses. So I just hot glued those all down. And then for some extra support, I did staple them. And I wanted to kind of hide some of the green pick. I know I should have did this before, gluing these pieces down, but it's okay. So I just kind of wrapped the bottom of this floral bouquet with some jute string, just tied that off, and then made a cute little bow out of some buffalo check ribbon and just hot glued that to the bottom. And there you go. I think this came out so adorable. This was super inexpensive to create. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.